Oh, the lights in my eyes. Oh, this is better. Oh, this is so much better. So, before we go Black Widow of Thor, I want to share some of the guitars that I have recently purchased. I'm, I'm not a Chapman fanboy at all. <laughs> now, I'm quite insulted by things he has done. And he believes that he has some sort of cult following, which, which, he, which he really doesn't. <laughs> but it's okay. It's all right. The Chapman guitars, I have two already. And I just bought one more. So I'm going to share with you this Chapman that I have just purchased. Okay, it does not have the kink in the neck. So it, it will not break so easily as some of the Gibson guitars. Now this is not a guitar review, I'm just sharing it with you. A guitar that I have now one thing that really struck me was the wood grain the wood grain is so beautiful on this thing humbucker single coil single coil a five-way switch I do not know yet what it switches to a tone and a volume knob for what you have for the hamburger that you've switched to and it does have a Floyd Rose tremolo now I'm going to turn it over it, it's very I mean it's got that infinity it's got that infinity sign and then this is the back so in Iceland, this thing cost me $600, $600, which is a bit on the steep side of what I can afford. But I must confess that, you know, I, you know, at least it was an offer. You can, you can look online for players who are playing this guitar, this kind of guitar. I have no idea what what the name of it is. Let me see over here. No, just open into the truss rod. Probably says here. I thought it said Yamaha. Chapman guitar. And it's got Chapman signature here. If you need it for a check or two, <laughs> but he might not have any any in the bank. You know his company is struggling. I know that. The person who bought this guitar has supported Chapman and because I bought it off the guy who bought it off Chapman I have sort of indirectly supported Chapman in a way let me just let me check on the numbers here M L I or 1 X M L M L X or it should be it could be M M L one X. The thing that I love about this guitar is the wood grain. Yeah, I haven't really played it. I played it a little bit just to make sure everything works, but I haven't really played it seriously. Yeah, here we go. I will put some pictures in for you of the guitar itself let us put it aside we need to be careful I am very careful with my LPs my long playing records my LPs my guitars my CDs I'm very careful with the stuff that I have because I want it to last <clears throat> let me get another one this one has a bit of a history to it. Uh, you might think it's black from that vantage point, but look, it's red. It's a deep red. Isn't that beautiful? 
Now this guitar comes from Akuriri. Now even though it's it's almost down, there is a kink here. So it's got the Gibson problem. I have yet to go over this guitar. It's still got some dirt from the, the original owner. Three-way switch. Uh -huh. Volume and tone for both pickups. This pickup is, is very low. <clears throat> So I guess it was used for strumming, you know, quite hard. This guitar I thought I would not get because after a while the seller, after dropping it in price for me, the seller stopped talking to me. I think he even blocked me on the, on the sales forum. And I couldn't get an answer from him. Because I tried to send two people to Akureyri to get this. But both of them, well, they failed. And finally, I know a guy in Akureyri who is repairing two of my, three of my guitars. He's already repaired one, so he sent it to me. He, uh, I asked him to go and get it, if he would be so kind. Then I reimbursed him, I sent him the money. It, with the guy who brought the guitar to Reykjavik. There was a guy who was coming to Reykjavik. Look how it's red sometimes, you see? And then it goes black. Then from a certain vantage point, it's black. That is the perfect color for me. I love that. It's a Washburn, Washburn. This is a very much a Washburn, but it's it's the reply Washburn has to Les Paul. So this is their reply to Les Paul. It's got a cutaway, but this side is not straight like it, it is with the Les Paul. Black knot helps helps to you know make the whole guitar darker. The switch has a black knob on it. These are uncovered pickups, hamburger pickups. But they, this thing is silver, so yeah. The question is, it does look like, no, no. It looks like uh, a Floyd Rose thing, but it's not. It's probably a Washburn, you know, trademark, whatever. A Washburn uh, in house bridge. But it could have been black, right? Everything else is black. Why not this? That's a big complaint I have against Epiphone as well. Against all these guitar manufacturers. You hear how it sounds, though. I'm going to have to edit that out if I say it. Guitar manufacturers, manufacturers, <laughs> manufacturers. <laughs> anyway, okay. This is one of my most recent acquisitions. And look, three black pickups. One is single coil, but the guy who sold me this asked me if I can wait, he will wire this five-way switch to make single coil, single coil, single coil. <laughs> he, can, he can make them all single coil as we want. And then, of course, there's some switch that I haven't really, I haven't tried it out properly yet, but it is a, a genuine Ibanez RG. This is a, a genuine Ibanez RG. <clears throat> you can see the other side, very smooth neck, beautiful. Now what he did was, I'm not much of a Floyd Rose guy, but I've got other guitars that have Floyd Rose. So he put a, a battery here, blocking the Floyd Rose thing. But he did give me the, he did give me the springs that are supposed to be here. And uh, 
So I can at any time sort of whip it into a Floyd Rosenstein. Or he said he could do it for me. It's no problem. But it's just hooks here that go here, hooks here that go here. And then take the battery away. And you have a Floyd Rose action here. It's actually Floyd Rose setup as well. Oh, yes. Even as RG. There's a long, long story here. There was a guy in England who was a, a great guitarist, and I use a lot of his tracks on my uh, YouTube videos because they were from a place called Royalty Free Music. And I downloaded a bunch of Royalty Free Music from Royalty Free Music and was using it by, in my videos. What happened was that royalty free music then went bust. Therefore, it, uh, it's sad to say that people who were still using the royalty free music tracks were using them without the artist getting anything back, which is not good. From the same guy that sold me the RG comes this Dearmand Les Paul. He calls it a Les Paul because it's very similar to Les Paul, but you see how different it is though also from the Les Paul. Dearmand have this 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 weak weak cutaway. I prefer a cutaway with a point. My guitars need to have a point, a point here. It goes down to a point and then around. I have another D Armand that I bought in America. And um, that also has this soft cutaway. I used it. It's a complicated story again. I bought it at Guitar Center. And I bought it because after the guy handed me a semi-acoustic jazz Gibson, I played it and it, and it sounded so flat. It didn't have a resounding sort of, the semi-acoustic side of it didn't, didn't work in my opinion. So the guy said, well, okay, you've tried this one. And I asked, how much is this? I, I had it in my lap and I said, okay, so how much is this? This Gibson semi-acoustic jazz guitar. He says 5,200. 5,200. That's more than half a million krona. So I handed it to him very carefully. <laughs> that was the Gibson jazz semi-acoustic. He said, okay, you like the sound of, you like the sound of Gibson. You like the jazz so, so sound. Let me get let me get a guitar for you. And he went and got the D Armand. And I played it. And it sounded so much better than the Gibson. And I said, How? How does this sound better without being plugged in than a Gibson? And the salesman said, You must understand that D Armand is in competition with Gibson. So they have to have something better than Gibson, right? If they want to compete with Gibson. So I said, why, why don't Gibson, you know, make a, a guitar that sounds great? There's a, there's a flat, flat top. There we go. Flat top, D. Armand. This is D. Armand's competition with Les Paul, really. Epiphone Les Paul, or even Gibson Les Paul for that matter. Let me find a place for this. It needs to be secure. You know what I mean? Onto the sofa. There we go. Okay, it looks, looks secure there. Then we'll hear clackety clackety clack. <laughs> when it all falls down. One more. Or two more. I don't know. This is a guitar I picked up recently. It has a, a long story to it. It's a stag, Les Paul. 
you see how the Les Paul, this is not, this is not a soft cutaway, this is a hard cutaway. So this is almost like a, a horn. It's a stag, here you go, stag. Some people love this brand, some people don't. But look at it, it's, it's every bit as good. It's like a new guitar, really. It's new in my collection. But really, you, you know now that I would want this black, this black, this black, this black. And I'd want three pickups. And that's where my Black Widow comes in. It's got, it's got everything. I don't know where to put this, but I'm going to put it over here. But you see how these things, these things gather. Yeah. Now, I do have one, I do have one in a bag over here, and I cannot remember what it is. We'll find out. We'll just find out what it is. It, it looks familiar. The bag looks familiar. But what is it? That's the question. Let's open it up. Let's find out. Let's find out. Okay. Squire Stratocaster. I thought that I would never own a Stratocaster. But now apparently I do. This, someone said that this, this uh, pick card should be black. That makes it all black. The all black Fender Stratocaster. <sighs> now this, this is a beautiful, beautiful wood. You see the wood in, in this? The wood in this is absolutely exquisite. It's got lines in it. It's got a grain in it, which is really nice. Yeah. Five-way switch. It, I don't have the tremolo arm. Is it somewhere hidden? I don't know. Maybe in the pocket outside. No, it's, it's fine. I'll get, I'll get another. I'll get another with the tremolo arm. I, I mean, I know. Okay, I kind of, <laughs> I kind of profess that I am a guitarist. There are racists, there are sexists, then there are guitarists. Guitarists, I'm a guitarist because I love, I love Gibson and Epiphone because they are a subsidiary of Gibson. But I have a hatred for Fender, but as you can see, I'm not very guitarist. <laughs> Since I have a Fender, it's a Squire, and I must have got it really inexpensively. Or a trade. I do trade guitars. So some guitars go to other people. So some guitars go to other people and I get their guitars, which is okay. I mean, now they have stopped using them. Now the beautiful, beautiful thing about it being in a bag is I can just put it here. So some way, somewhere. And even if it contacts with other guitars, it's not going to do any harm because it's in a bag. That's why I have 20, bags coming to me from Germany, from Toman. I'm going to put all my guitars in bags because the problem is when I trade guitars and they leave me, I usually take it in a bag to the person. And sometimes the person doesn't have a bag, which is why I have IKEA blankets in my, in my car. I can wrap it if it's raining outside. I can wrap the guitar so it doesn't get rain on it, doesn't get wet. Pièce de résistance. It is time for the main event. It's time! <laughs> but yes, it is time.
This is my black widow. Twenty, twenty-three. Mmm. It does smell of glue. It smells of glue. But this is the perfect one. This is the final, the final and perfect one. Oh yeah. Look at it. Look at this beautiful. This is beautiful, beautiful guitar. This is the perfect guitar. This is perfect. Black tone and audio. Black tailpiece. Black bridge. Black hamburgers covered so you don't see the dots. Black rims. I'll tune it later. Black switch, total black fingerboard, back to a black nut, black tuners, and a black dress rod cover. No. Yes. That's it. This is my black widow. Black Widow of Thor. Finally, in my hands, the finished, the finished product. There we go. I know it's all black here. Right? I know it's hard to see. Therefore, you see the reflection. This is the Black Widow. The Black Widow of Thor. Totally black. I'm going to see it. Oh my God. around with the light up there. Look at that. See that? See how beautiful that is? Yeah. Yeah. It's beautiful. It is, it is just beautiful. Look at it. Totally black. This is the guitar that nobody would make. It's sickening that nobody would make it. It's so sad that nobody would make this guitar. Not Harley Benton. Not Ace Pro. Not Gibson. Not, not Epiphone did help me. Not Ibanez. Ibanez, whatever. This guitar for me until kind of Epiphone came through for me. Yes. Epiphone, a worker at Epiphone, talked to a partner of this workman who is Gibson Custom Shop trained. He said, Okay, I'll make it. I'll make it work. Now it's finished. Now it's complete. And that is it. Thank you for watching. Side. 
so I, I will not lose where I am <laughs> when I play live on stage. I, I just have no words, it's so beautiful. It is beautiful. This is the guitar that many manufacturers should be making. Many thanks, China. Thank you, China. Your workmen made this for me. And I appreciate it totally. should have been